On one hand, Marvel TV is looking like it has a bright future on Disney+. Plus. On the other hand, everything is getting cancelled if it's not on Disney+. Plus. Now let's talk about ABC's future involvement after Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So when it comes to Marvel TV outside of Disney+, Plus, it's just like a big question mark, and it's a bigger even what the hell happened once Kevin Feige took over. I mean, literally everything's been canceled in the last two years, and we know there's a shift happening over at Disney. Now recently, which is linked down below, Deadline has an article on the president of entertainment at ABC talking about the future partnership with Marvel. And they address Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ending, which of course it will be this summer, but they also talk about the future and the fact that they will be sitting down and talking to Kevin Feige about what they can do. Now, of course, for those of you that are keeping up or some of you that are new, ABC is part of the Disney family. So effectively, what I'm telling you right now is Disney-owned Marvel is sitting down with Disney-owned ABC to talk about a Disney property. Um, You know, is, that is how it is. That's corporate business. That's how it goes. But realistically, um, if you look at the history of ABC and Marvel, they've had a pretty great relationship. And Kevin Feige even executive produced a series on there with Agent Carter. So, you know, there was a history that already exists. Now, on the other hand, this is where things could get interesting because... ABC did choose to pass on multiple Marvel series over the course of the last five years. You know, from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. spinoff Most Wanted to Doom Patrol at one point to multiple other series that were in development, including an all-female team-up, which I don't know how the hell they passed up on that one, to even Ghost Rider at one point was pitched to them and they passed up on it. So it's interesting to see what ABC has been passing on, but at the same time, you have to understand that Marvel TV and Marvel superheroes cannot be exclusive to Disney Plus only. That doesn't make sense from a business standpoint, which that's a whole other video I could go into for about five minutes. I can't crunch that in here. And what really interests me here is what are they looking at? What are they going to be talking about? Because they're doing this at the kickoff of the TCAs, which is the you know Television Critics Association, and that kind of um heats up and steamrolls throughout the spring and summer. So there should be more info hitting us, and I'm going to assume if anything happens, it's not going to be this year. They'll maybe start production on this year, and I could see it as a mid-season replacement anywhere from January of next year to you know June, July. That could realistically happen. But I think right now, since there is that transitional period and that acquisition of Fox, things might take a little bit longer. But then again, there's so many things happening with Marvel and TV nobody's really gonna notice it so i guess we'll find out soon what they have in mind and hopefully it's uh worth the wait <laughs>